First thing you're going to notice is two mouses. Probably something to do with your resolution, so be sure to change that first. Okay, so with these ultra settings uh, on custom with 1280 by 800, it's lagging really bad. I'm getting like 10 frames a second, so I can hardly move the mouse. It's like pretty big delay. Um, we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to put a you know, graphics preset on medium and see how it runs that. Move. Hmm. A lot smoother. It's almost playable on medium. Almost. This is a really nice looking game. By the way, the cutscenes for this game is pretty funny too. Uh, so, it's still pretty laggy. I still probably wouldn't play it like this. Let's see what else we can put it on. Reset low. Now, with it on low, it's definitely a little bit faster, but unfortunately we're still getting about 18 to 25 frames per second. The game does look pretty amazing, I'm not going to lie. Wow, look at that. That's something. So on everything low, 1280 by 800, it's pretty much up there, but I'm gonna see if I can lower the resolution to get some more playable frame rates here. Okay, so on the lowest setting, the game is playable actually, but it's still, you get a lot of input lag, but you don't get as much FPS lag. So you get about 25 frames on, on low everything. So, also it's a little bit stretched out at this resolution. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's only game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. I just got done watching it too. There's some impressive cutscenes, man. Wrong. It's like watching a movie. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Craves action, I understand that. And I'm really surprised this intro is like Sheesh, it's like fifteen minutes long. It's not even done yet. God, it looks great though. I love this game so far. Really cool. Especially after just watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> Man, so many cutscenes. Oh, what was he dreaming or something? Hmm. Skip the cutscenes here. Here I am playing the game. So. Definitely, you know, I'll say it's playable. It's not the greatest, but it works. At least you can play this game. That's pretty impressive. Let me run around some more real quick. See what it's like. It still looks pretty darn good, even though we're not running on max graphics or anything. It's really cool. So, I mean, if you like this game, you heard about it, and you wanted to play it, it's playable. I mean, not the greatest, but it'll do. If you liked the video, press the like button. It really helps the channel out. Um, I actually really enjoyed those cutscenes. I was pretty surprised. They were very detailed and the story was getting more in depth. Um, halfway in though, after about watching almost 20 minutes of those cutscenes, I was like, okay, I gotta get to the gaming test. So I, I skipped them. Um, but I can tell you the game does run. You're getting about 18 to 25 FPS, but it's, it's still playable. Um, let me know if you want me to remake the video and go further into the story. Maybe test a few areas out that you're not sure about. Maybe they'll get really laggy or something you want to know. Um, also, uh, subscribe. I'm trying to get more subscribers. So as long as you guys like these videos, let me know and uh, I'll keep making them. Um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be actually testing that game out on a new iMac that I got recently. Um, should be pretty good. I already noticed on this channel, I test all kinds of different laptops to show you guys 
how well these certain games run. Um, I also do product reviews. So like the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, those types of products, I actually talk about them. Um, the MacBook Pro should be an upcoming review that I should be releasing pretty soon here. Um, and I'll also be doing one on the iMac, which I was an Apple hater and uh, I had an epiphany and now I'm actually a big proponent of the all-in-one system. So, cheers.